Don mentioned that uh, Matthew needs help. What can you guys do to help him? Uh, keep guys off him. Finish harder. Obviously, it's our job as an offensive line to make sure guys aren't aren't in his face. Um, that pretty much falls exclusively on us, and we have to do a much better job. I think that comes down to a mindset thing. Uh, physical physical mistakes are going to happen, but our mindset the last couple of games ha hasn't been right, and that's something we're going to address at practice. Why is it? Why is the mindset been uh, not right the last couple of games? You know, it's a um, kind of sit back and wonder why. Um, at this point, can't do anything about it. Um, it's just something that's got to be fixed. Uh, so that's going to start with uh, that's going to start with me in the offensive line room, and we're going to spread that through uh, through everyone. We just had a good talk, and uh, guys are going to get ready to go, and we're going to do what we need to do. Thank you, Rob. Yep. Jordan. Rob, on that point, you guys, you said you guys just had a good talk. Um, did you get up and address your your colleagues or how, what was that like in those meetings this morning? Yeah, we had a closed doors meeting after uh, after we watched the film, uh, corrected uh, the things that need to be corrected. But, you know, just a uh, way to talk with just the offensive linemen. Guys want to uh, speak their mind. Um, I started the meeting off, but uh, um, yeah, I'm not going to say what, what was said in there, but yeah, and this was a. I'm just trying to clarify and be correct. Um, this was a players. You guys wanted to have that space for players to talk to each other. Correct. It was the offensive line. Um, and we, uh, yeah, we talked. And then, um, just in terms of uh, building something positive through sort of this chaos that you guys have had, uh, especially on the interior, rotating guys in and out. Um, what are, in, in your mind, um, as a captain, as a veteran of this group, what are some key points that can be foundation points for you guys um, in terms of, of navigating through that chaos? Um, I'd say we lost a little bit of our fo uh, foundation of, of kind of the success we've had over the years, whether it's communication, effort, um, technique. And I think a lot of uh, some of that has been slipping. Um, there's handful of plays yesterday that would just just can't happen that's just just inexcusable stuff um you know you, I'm, I'm sure you guys know exactly what exactly what we're talking about um so the good thing is the only good thing is that it's early enough in the season where we can uh we can get back to work and we and still kind of write the script the way we want it but that's a uh that's a mindset thing that we got to we got to change and we got to address and we got to fix and we got to do it starting today. Thank you, Rob. Yep. Thanks, Jordan. Eric. Hey, Rob. Thanks for taking our questions. How much can you lean on your past experience of being on offensive lines where you had to reshuffle things and build chemistry quickly in those situations and, and what kind of success you had in those situations? And then schematically, are there things that you guys can do to kind of to kind of help you better protect Matthew? Um, yeah, no, obviously we've had some guys shuffling it out over the past couple of years, but it's, um, every year is just such a different, different year. Um, you can draw on obviously experience, you know, that gives you confidence, I would say, but it's, uh, every year is a new thing and, and it's not what worked in past years is going to work this year. So we got to figure out what's going to work for this, this offensive line, this offense, and we got to, uh, look inward really self-evaluate of kind of where we are and then take that to the uh to the position meetings to the unit meetings and 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 just move forward from that thank you yep greg rob what's the overall mood like in the room after back-to-back -back losses uh clearly no one's happy um i myself not very uh not very happy at all played very bad uh very disappointed in myself but it's um it's something in the NFL that you learn. It's just, I mean, like truly you just got to move on and truly fix the things that need to be fixed. Cause if you don't do that, then it's just gonna be the same result, the same, same questions here in the next couple of weeks, if you don't address and actually fix what needs to be fixed. And that's something that I think uh, the guys in this room are, are dedicated to doing. And uh, in, you know, the, the leaders in our room are going to make sure that, uh, that this thing gets uh, moving forward. You got the motivation and all that stuff, but is there just practical concerns working in three guys in the middle of the line who just haven't played a whole lot and figuring that out on the fly in a, in a tough season? 
I mean, obviously you want to, you know, go the whole season with, you know, your the five starters that you had um, starting out with, but that's not the case right now. Um, so it's just something that we need to work. And if we got to put extra, extra hours in, which is a hundred percent what we need to do, then we need to go ahead and do that. We need to make sure everyone's locked in and uh, locked in on the game plan and, and everything like that of like what we're trying to get done on every single play. Um, there's a reason we run plays. Um, and that's, uh, that's just something we need to have a little bit more urgency about. Thanks, Rob. Yeah. Gary. Hey, Rob. Um, are, are there, are there things going on in games, you know, maybe that we don't see that do give you encouragement? I mean, are there streaks of good play and some positive stuff that you guys are doing that you can build on, or is it simply a matter of, you know, you're, you know, you're not doing anything well. Um, you, you know, that, that's a good question, Gary. There's a, uh, there's always good things that go on, but the end of the, the end of the day, we're here to win games. Um, so there's no, there's no, you know, small victories or silver linings or anything like that. We need to do what we need to do to win the game. Um, you know, we haven't won our last two. Um, so we need to fix things.